Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Gante, and you already know what time it is. It's time to use our brains and become scientists. So, today what we're going to do is we're going to watch a video about Georgia habitats and the plants and animals that are found there. So, as you're watching, make sure to pay close attention to the animals and the plants found in each region because you will be using this information for your next activity. The first region that we're going to be going over is Georgia's mountain habitat region, which, if you've guessed it, that is the region where we live in. How would you describe the mountain region? The mountain region is northernmost in Georgia and is characterized by colder weather than Georgia's other regions. The land is more elevated and has poor soil for farming. The mountains are covered with forests, with many trees that shed leaves in colder months. Animals include black bears, white-tailed deer, raccoons, bobcats, trout, and possums. Plants include mountain laurels, pine trees, magnolia trees, and the Cherokee rose. The plants and animals are adapted for colder weather and living in vast forest regions. So why would a mountain habitat be best suited for this animal? So here we have a white-tailed deer. A white-tailed deer lives in the northern regions of Georgia and its hooves allow it to walk along the rocky terrain. Its fur helps it keep it warm in the winter months. The deer has a unique digestive system that allows it to eat woody plants that other animals can't digest. They typically live in heavily wooded areas but that is changing as humans develop in many deer habitats. Why would the mountain habitat be best suited for this animal? So here we have a black bear. Now black bears are found in mountains and swamps. Bears typically live in swamps and forested areas, especially mature mixed pine strands that offer plentiful supply of natural foods and trees and thickets that they can escape for, to go to for security. Standing hollow trees are common den sites for Georgia bears. The majority of their natural diet consists of berries, fruits, acorns, grasses, and animal matter, including insects or mammals, even deer. So here we have the mountain laurel, and the mountain laurel is an evergreen shrub. It typically grows on rocky slopes and forested areas. The plant is poisonous to many animals that live in the mountain region, which allows it to thrive and not become a food source. So what are the features of animals that allow them to live and thrive in this region of Georgia? Thick fur to survive cold winters, thick padded feet to travel over uneven land, animals can migrate over large areas for food or shelter, save energy during the winter months when food is scarce, so hibernation, and they depend on trees for habitats, like woodpeckers. What are the features of plants that allow them to live and thrive in this region? Trees have thick bark to protect against cold winters, insects, and animal invasion. Thick bark also protects against trees drying out. Deciduous trees have thin, broad, lightweight leaves that can capture a lot of sunlight. Deciduous trees drop leaves in fall to minimize water loss. Pine trees have leaves that lose less water and shed snow more easily than broad leaves. Waxy coatings on needles prevent water evaporation. And pines have leaf blades that allow blades to move freely in the wind. What are the features of plants that allow them to live and thrive in this region of Georgia? Many trees have branches that droop downward to help shed excess snow to keep the branches from breaking. Sunflowers grow on forest floors early in the spring before larger trees grow leaves that block out the sun. Other plants can climb up supporting trees to give sunlight or to receive sunlight. Plants can grow in shadowy understory ferns. Some plants are poisonous for animals to eat. Long root systems spread out wide or go deep into the ground to absorb water. Animals help 
to spread seeds, thorns, keep animals from chewing on or stepping on stems. And with that, we have our Cherokee Road. All right, boys and girls, so now that we reviewed Georgia's mountain region, what do you think? Was there something that you wrote down in your science journal? Think about the plants that we went over. Think about the animals and how both plants and animals survive in this habitat. So now we're going to be going to our second habitat that we're gonna talk about in this video. So here we have our second habitat. We have the Piedmont region of Georgia. So already go ahead and look at these pictures just to see how different it is from our mountain habitat. We have a big city, we have creeks, we just have different areas. We even have this map that kind of highlights where everything is located. And here in the middle, if you can see, there we have our state's capital, Atlanta, Georgia. How would you describe the Piedmont region? Piedmont means foot of the mountain. Hmm, so let's think about that for a second. The Piedmont region is just south of the mountain region and includes Atlanta. The land is noted for its red soil and rolling hills. This is the most populated of Georgia's regions. Some animals include wild turkey, raccoons, squirrels, and deer. Some plants include kudzu, pine trees, and dogwood trees. Plants and animals are adapted to live in hot and cold weather. Plants can also survive on red clay. So in this region, plants can survive on red clay. Why would the Piedmont habitat be best suited for this animal? So here we have the Eastern Bluebird. The Eastern Bluebird is a bird that lives primarily in the cavities of trees, often abandoned woodpecker holes. They build nests out of grass, plant stems, and pine needles. The pine tree is common to the Piedmont region. Bluebirds primarily eat insects, but also enjoy berries and small fruits. They prefer the warmer climate during Georgia's spring and summer months. So here we have another animal. Why would the Piedmont habitat be best suited for this animal? So here we have a wild turkey. Wild turkeys need a mixture of forests and openings to meet their seasonal habitat requirements. Daily movements of turkeys may cover one to two miles. Quality turkey habitat is comprised of nature woodlands. Quality turkey habitat is comprised of mature woodlands with open understories as well as developed midstories. Interspread with grassy or weedy openings, woodlands provide food and cover shelter especially during fall and winter. They also provide roosting sites throughout the year. So here we have our next plant of the Piedmont region. Why would this habitat be suited for specific plants? So here we have a pine tree. The short leaf pine tree is able to survive in soils that are low on organic matter, which includes the clay of the Georgia Piedmont region. The tree is able to survive the warm summer months as well as the cold winter months. The tree provides food and habitats for a large number of animals. Why would this habitat be suited for specific plants? So here we have the kudzu. So it is an invasive plant that was originally native to Asia but it was introduced to America in 1876. It was widely planted throughout the Eastern United States in an attempt to control erosion. And we've talked about erosion before. Kudzu's preferred habitat is open, disturbed areas such as roads, rights of way, forest edges, and old fields. It is an aggressive invader capable of growing over one foot 
a day in prime conditions. Kutsu often grows over, smothers, and kills all other vegetation, including trees. So as you can see, it's already taken over trees. What are the features of animals that allow them to live and thrive in this region of Georgia? So remember, we're in the Piedmont. So we have claws or talons for hunting prey, fur to survive winters, tails used for communicating, move quickly to capture prey or evade predators, and body covering allows animals to survive in hot and cold conditions. And we'll be talking more about body covering once we move into adaptations. What are the features of plants that allow them to live and thrive in this region of Georgia? So we have trees have thick bark to protect against cold winters, insects, and animal invasion. Thick bark also protects against trees drying out. We have deciduous trees have thin, broad, lightweight leaves that can capture a lot of sunlight. Deciduous trees drop leaves in the fall to minimize water loss. Now some of these are sounding very familiar as compared to the mountain region. Pines have leaf blades that allow blades to move freely in the wind. Long root stems spread out wide or go deep into the ground to absorb water. Animals help to spread seeds. Plants survive in soil in low organic matter, so we have red clay. Plants can survive hot summers and winters. Aggressive growing plants with long vines, so that's the kudzu. And then plants can make food year round. So now, boys and girls, remember we were reviewing the Piedmont region of Georgia and the plants and the animals that are found there. In the next video, you're going to be talking about more of Georgia's region. So make sure you have your science journal ready and you're writing down important details.